Hi, my name is Elise and I make queer media reactions, so if you're into that kind of thing, subscribe. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be reacting to your favorite gay TikToks. And thank you to those who have sent me some by tagging me on TikTok. And if you don't know what my TikTok is, here's my handle. Bro, y'all don't understand, like, TikTok has me by the throat. <laughs> Quotes in my mind, 25.8. <laughs> right now, the top trending audio in my head is the berries and cream remixes, if you know. You probably know. Anyway, if you know anything about TikTok, it's that there are many, many sides to TikTok. If we're putting it into two top categories, it'd be straight TikTok and then gay TikTok. And then for gay TikTok, which is the side I'm on, obviously, it would be branch out into different subsections. For me, my subcategories are skateboarding, women loving women, queer, gay, crystals. Shout out to my brother, he made this for me. Astrology, random pet videos, music, anything with vine energy that comes up. So if you're into those kinds of things, maybe let's be besties. Okay, honestly, I do need more gay besties. Anyway, let's just jump into the reactions because I've been holding it off. I'm seeing y'all. I'm seeing you. <laughs> You're sending me sphere straight stuff. Um, you will not let me get away from that. But I kind of like it. <laughs> let's just jump into it. This is my gay account on TikTok. I usually go to my skate account. And if you're into that, go follow me there too if you want. <laughs> um, but for now, we're going to stick with the gay TikTok side, all right? Thank you to the uh, seven people who have tagged me in TikTok videos. <laughs> Without you, I would probably would have showed you my favorite TikToks. I would have gone on forever. I see the first icon. It looks like Olivia. Okay, I'm gonna make a guess that over 40% of these videos y'all tagged me in are Fear Street content. I'm gonna call it now. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Oh, the, the, look, the look up and down. <laughs> Honestly, Olivia looks like me when I was back in math class just dozing off. <laughs> Yo, another- Okay, Fear Street TikTok edits, I see you. Is it another- God damn it, you guys. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of Olivia on these icons. Oh, is this Olivia's, uh, uh, I, okay, I had no idea that Olivia was in, uh, American Idol. I wonder what her voice sounds like. I've never heard her sing before. <laughs> Sam after Peter. The best day of my life. Peter. <laughs> if y'all know me, I don't know names at all. Sam and... Am I dumb? I'm blanking. Dina. I forgot her name. What? I'm so bad with names. Oh, Kate. Kate was like, I'm f***ing dumb. <laughs> Kate and what's that other guy's name? What's his name? Simon. Oh, Peter. Duh. Because he was irrelevant. That's why. <laughs> Such a dork, I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna see the comments. Sam, when her and Dina made up. <laughs> if y'all know TikTok is that the comments can make the video so much better. Hannah, when she didn't get hung. Why y'all gotta go there? Is this another Fear Street TikTok? I swear to God. <laughs> she really was that uh, emoji. Uh -ha -ha. Y'all, oh my god. So many Olivia posts. What the heck, guys? Damn, intermezzo zero. Um, you really haven't upset- Why did I notice your profile picture? It's literally Olivia, what the heck? <laughs> I loved I thought that was- I, lo I love that it's- I love that- I, like, I love that you noticed that because it is a thing where I feel like everyone realizes that, you know, like the game- yeah. I loved it. I thought that was- I Kiana does play a lot of, uh, characters. But I swear to god, I thought Mo from Trinkets was- Let's go, lesbians, let's go! Did I stutter? Yes. Like, so I, like, I'm- and so I, yeah, so like when, like- <laughs> and, 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 and
That's me while filming. <laughs> that you um you had you 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 could you do. When I cut out my stutters, it would be like half the video. I swear to God. <laughs> All right, next one. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait. No, wait, Patrick. I need to read. <laughs> Ship Josh and Dean. Huh? Josh. Jo. 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 <laughs> Josh and Dina? Are y'all me right now? What the heck? Josh as in the little brother of Dina. All right. <laughs> Sam should have died. Sam is bi. Dina is selfish. Okay, I'm not denying Sam is bi. It could be plausible, like comp head maybe, <laughs> but sapphic for sure. Jo <laughs> Look at these comments. <laughs> Opinions on Halloween. It's my least favorite holiday and I Don't you ever ever drag Halloween's name in the dirt again. Oh my god. Halloween videos I have planned. I'm doing something spooky. Stay tuned. <laughs> Who's that, Claro? <laughs> That's Claro, right? I don't listen to Claro, but not my kind of music. I appreciate it, but Definitely not my type of music I listen to. I probably would have listened to her in high school, which was six years ago. Well, technically I started high school in 2010. Okay, I'm bad at math, okay? Don't do that to me. Don't make me think. Don't make me use my brain like that, all right? It's 2019 and you match with a Hey Mamas on Tinder. No, <laughs> no, okay. Um. Personally, not my type, but we're gonna watch this anyway. <laughs> it was a scooch for me. <laughs> yeah, like Avery Cyrus followed me afterwards. Who's Avery Cyrus? <laughs> you bottom? Are you even gay? You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making me watch this? <laughs> uh, pause at the wrong time. Uh. I'm so sweaty from that. You want one of my chains? You bought him? Sure. You have to give it back though. Okay. All right, mamas. You ready to go home? Yeah. All right, I'm done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> yes, this was hard to watch. Why would you do that to me? Why? Do you like seeing me suffer? I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate that. No, I don't think you understand. I'm a best. What? Hello? I don't appreciate that. <laughs> I am this close to falling off the deep end. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Please get help. You are literally twerking this family apart. Do you see how you're hurting the people that love you? No, stop, please. Tell me why. <laughs> it's her special way of waving goodbye. <laughs> wow. What's that SpongeBob reference where like Squidward's like back? It up. Back it up. <laughs> back it up. Right. Back it up. <laughs> back it up! Back it up! Are you guys gay as fuck? What? You're gay? Are you guys gay? <laughs> Tell me why this was me in middle school. <laughs> Shout out to Gilbert, my uh, longest and oldest friend um, from middle school. When I first came out to him, he was like, wow, you finally found out. <laughs> or like something like that. He was like, yeah, I knew. I'm homosexual. Well, can't say I'm surprised. My closet knew. <laughs> With the flannels and I see Haley Kyoko. And girls like girls. So. There we go. Uh, we as women. <laughs> Not Billy. <laughs> Billy was like, me? <laughs> girls like girls. Why was the crowd so dead? What the heck? There we go. Uh, I'd be the one women. lesbian like cheering, like, yeah. Oh. Oh. Thank 
thanks for picking me up from Home Goods. I just got a bunch of candles. Um, I don't really like the wax ones. I'm really only into soy because it. Not me with a candle collection. Shall I bring it out? <laughs> I'm bringing it out. Hold on. These are these are my babies. <laughs> are y'all appreciating my content right now? <laughs> I hate that I'm doing this right now. Bro, you don't even know. I'm obsessed. And there's more, but I want to get out. Look at all that. What's your astrology sign? This is like really vital to me. Right now, I'm identifying with the one in the green. Oh, um. Would you like some of my latte? It's a uh, blueberry lavender oat milk and espresso. I don't drink that oat shit, Bubba. Get out. <laughs> uh, that's my ex's birthday. Gotcha. Um. Well, what's what's the other one underneath it? This is my other ex's birthday. This crystal's really important to me. It like offers prosperity, and this one offers new beginnings. And so I charge them. Maybe. <laughs> My horoscope did say that I should be open to new beginnings, but I don't know. I'm trying to heal my inner child first. Okay, I feel attacked. I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> Why you gotta do that to me? Why are you calling me out like that, all right? Five. You're done. <laughs> That's not attractive, you know? What the heck? <laughs> Okay, be who you are. <laughs> be who you are for your pride. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna read this. You had a very, if you experienced something similar, all right. People are so judgmental of gay people, trans people, alternative people. Anyone who looks like me or different than the average person is judged so unfairly in every social situation that I've ever been in. And it like is finally getting to me. There was like a group of three people behind me and they were like adults, like adults on the way to like a business thing or something because all of them were dressed really formally. Yeah. I waited another like 10 seconds than I could have to hold the door open for the lady who was behind me. And she sat there, looked me up and down and glared at me. I didn't have to go out of my way to stand here for 10 seconds to hold the door open for you. Mm. And you're going to be a bitch just because of the way I look when I was being nice. Have I had that similar experience? It wasn't so much from like business people, even though I sort of do feel like that sometimes. Like I've interviewed for some companies and like they're very corporate. I felt very out of place for sure. But did I ever have like upfront judgment uh, from those corporate people? Not really, but I do live in like a very Asian um, concentrated like area in the Bay Area and like all these like Asian grandmas would be looking at me and I'm like, huh. hi, and they give me like the side eye like, um, all right. I feel like now that I'm older and now that I'm more confident in my style, I don't tend to notice things um, as much. But yeah, I think now that I'm like older, I'm like, okay, you. <laughs> Thoughts? Aww. Uh, thoughts? My thoughts um, are that Kiana is engaged. <laughs> They're just really good besties. Like, of course I ship them like friendship wise, like they have such good chemistry, but I don't think I could ever ship anyone that's engaged. Like you, when I know someone's engaged, I that's when I am like, nods. Nah, off limits. <laughs> Can I get a cheeseburger, a four piece, and. Okay, pull up now. Here. What do you want to say? I didn't ask for this. Are you kidding me right now? I'm sorry. Don't give it back then. No, I want it. I don't care. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. But I'm done talking to you. Nani? What did I just watch? What the heck? This was from like the, um, the auditions, right? I think I better watch that and see where that comes from because I'm lost. I love Jello. What's that from? A four piece chicken yeah. nugget? What do you want? Oh, getting cheeseburgers when she wanted a four piece. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm like so confused. So Olivia and I, it was something we thought about a lot. And um, we know that Sam and Dina both went to Shadyside High School. And in high school, um, 
they weren't in the same social circles. So in school, they were never really together. But then when the summer came, they had an opportunity to connect. And I believe we said that they ended up working the same part-time job. But we know that they always saw each other in school and they always, you know, thought the other person was cute, but um, didn't like, we're kind of shy to talk. <laughs> and um, it was when they found themselves working the same job that summer that they really got to connect and explore how much they liked each other. Um, so yeah, that was definitely our backstory and it really helped us, you know, think of a history of them, their jobs, they were able to kind of have a private relationship, which was really nice for them. I don't know if you saw, there's like some photos, like some behind the scene photos, I believe Olivia has posted it before of like- What? Sam, Sam and Dina when they were happier. And um, in my mind, after the third movie as well, they're, you know, happy and together. So, <laughs> don't. More Fear Street movies and we get to see more of Sam and Dina's relationship because that would be really cool. I want that. I want that so bad. <laughs> you don't understand. Crying, throwing up. Same. See, that's a prequel that I would totally watch. If I had the money, I would totally fund it. I want to show you my favorite TikToks. These are basically almost all Fear Street videos. Come on, y'all. I'm not complaining. Okay, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> no, no, I appreciate. I appreciate um you taking your time to like send me videos. If any of you want to show your favorite gay TikToks to me that aren't Fear Street related, maybe just send that to me too. <laughs> just mention me um, on the comments and then I'll probably look at it later. In the next video, I am going to be reacting to Handmaiden. For the month of October, I'm going to be reacting to queer horror movies and TV shows. These are the choices I'm going to have for October. I'm going to do a uh, Haunting of Bly Manor, Jennifer's Body, All Cheerleaders Die, Thelma, The Perfection, possibly Lizzie, but there's also gonna be some new releases in October. Night Teeth, I really wanna watch because apparently it's gonna be based around lesbian vampires, and you know me. I like Buffy, the vampire slayer, so vampires and lesbians, come on, I have to. <laughs> I'm gonna be reacting to Last Night in Soho. Um, that has Anya Taylor-Joy. Um, might not be queer, but I will watch because of her. And Spencer, and November 5th, Kristen Stewart, so gotta support her, let's go. <laughs> if you're into those kinds of films and uh, you wanna see me react to them, then hit subscribe. So that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I totally forgot that I um, needed to watch the audition video. So we're gonna watch the Fear Street audition tapes of Olivia and Kiana. I am Olivia Welch, I am 5'6", and I am from Los Angeles. Hey, I'm Kiana Madeira, I'm 5'4", and I'm based in Toronto. Wow. I am 5'3", so I would be looking at Olivia like that, <laughs> basically. I'm serious, Sam. Can we just talk for a second? I'm done talking to you. Here. One minute, stay. Come on. What do you want to say? Oh, God. Yo, her voice, though. It's so, like, raspy, dude. Mm -mm. Wow! Yes. That's what I thought. See you around. I didn't ask for this. I didn't want us to get caught. Yeah, well, we did. And then you left. Do you think I wanted to move in with my dad? And his shitty wife? And his shitty stepkids? I don't care about your perfect new life in Sunnyvale. This isn't about that. If that's the case, then why don't we be a little bit more careful with our revisionist history? Are you kidding me? <gasps> Stay the fuck away from me? That's the last thing you said to me. Yeah. Yeah. After you dumped me. No. After... I told you that the next few months were going to be hard. And that I just Ooh. needed you while I figured out who the fuck I was in Sunnyvale. I didn't bail. Yo, they're going above and beyond, honestly. <laughs> also, her eyes. When Billie Eilish was writing that song, it was about her. <laughs> you pushed me away, and now you regret it, and you can't own up to that, so you're making me mixtapes. Who we'll give it back then? No, I want it. Silence. <laughs> Don't do that. The dude groping you. You stop. Just don't humiliate me by making me ask again. Peter, 
His name is Peter. Yeah, it, it, it gives a lot of background. Why did they cut that off? Like I said before, if they do like a prequel to the movie, I would totally watch that. This whole, um, the official movie scene um, was way more intense rather than like emotional. Makes sense. I didn't have a choice. Oh, come on. You just couldn't wait to start your new fake life with your fake ass mom. It would have gave Dina's character, I think people m would have empathized more if they left that uh, original script in. Because in this, in this scene right here, it makes Dina kind of unlikable. And I know that douchebag out there was squeezing your ass. You broke up with me. What's his name? You broke up with me. What's his name, Sam? The dude Stop. groping you. Stop touching you. Ah. His name is. <laughs> Are you like together? This audition tape was beautiful. Like I think it would have made it a lot more relatable. They're really convincing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm the one who can't own up to shit. No. Okay. He wants to be. You don't understand. No, no, I do. Damn. A future and shady side with a lesbo, right? Best case is what? Dead on the mall floor after a double shift, or maybe if you're really lucky, you're the one carrying the knife. Wow, I did not see. That was a um, very big foreshadowing. <laughs> don't, don't fucking touch me. <laughs> Never wanted to hurt you. Wow. Wow. They kept that in the movie it would have made so much more sense <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen my reaction video in the first movie uh, i was kind of like what the hell's going on <laughs> this also is something that i really want to watch um in october because vampire lesbians <laughs> all right